Messages are the quickest way to put pieces of information on your screen to alert your audience about, such as a nursery call out, or maybe it's just a countdown clock, or that somebody's lights are on in the parking lot. Messages help you do this. Now, messages are basically a customized version of props. Now, a props layer is a persistent layer that can stay on top of anything, and messages work the exact same way. The big difference between props and messages is messages can have custom information inputted into that layer. So let's see how this works. So I'm gonna to go to messages and under here you'll see that we have a message text box. So I'm just gonna type in welcome to pro five and we're gonna show this message on the screen and you'll see that it puts it on the screen. Now if we would click on these slides here, you'll see that this text stays on top of those objects and we can clear out the message by hitting this little X here and let's just clear out the rest of those slides. Now we also have an option for a countdown clock and we'll get to that in just a minute. Now to customize these messages, we're gonna click on the pencil icon to bring up the editor. As you can see, we can create multiple new messages as well as you can see all the tokens we have available for these messages. So you can use name, first name, last name, message, room clock, or we can use any of these countdown clocks that we have available. Now we're gonna make a new one for somebody who's left their lights on in the parking lot. So we're gonna call this lights on and we're gonna put attention, um, license, number and now we need to add a license number now this token isn't available so we're going to create a new one we're just going to call this license and we're going to hit add and so now we can come in here and drag this into place so now attention license number then we're going to put space your lights are on and period so now if we type in here our license number and hit show message you'll see attention license number 1234, your lights are on. Now we can also add another field, so we'll put comma, please go to the blank parking lot, period. And so we're right here, we're gonna add in another one, we're gonna call this parking lot, and we're gonna hit add, and we're gonna drag this in here, right between there, and we need to add a space in there. And so now we can add in our north parking lot and we'll hit show message. And now we can do attention license number one, two, three, your lights are on, please go to north, go to the north parking lot. So um, we just need to add in the space, hide, show message. And now it should read appropriately. Now all of these messages can have custom templates to change the way they look so it's not this centered text that doesn't quite work that well in your normal presentations. So we're gonna change how this countdown clock looks. We're gonna say our next service begins in and we're gonna say instead of a countdown clock that's just a timer, we're gonna count down to a specified time. So we're gonna say maybe 7 p.m. for our night service. We're gonna hit enter to confirm that. And then in here is where we can change our template. And instead of using the default template, I'm gonna to go to my custom template group and I'm gonna do edit template group. So now we can close out this message and close out our messages window. And now let's add in a new slide here. And we're gonna just type in test text just so we can see what our text is gonna look like. And let's go over here and let's actually um, select all this and change our size, maybe put that up to about a 50. Okay, and then I'm gonna bring this text box down here towards the bottom, and we're gonna put it right at the bottom of the frame. Then we're gonna make a nice little background color for it so it pops out. So we'll just uh, scale this out side to side here, and then we're gonna change the color to a red-orange color. So we'll just grab something in this range. And then let's bring this down to the bottom. And since it's covering our text, we're gonna move that, switch the layer order, and then maybe bring our text box back up just a little bit. Then we can go over here to the info for our slide and we can say slide label of um, countdown. And now we're done. So we can hit X. And now we can go back to messages for our countdown clock. We're gonna to go to template. We're gonna to go to our full screen template group and we're gonna say template two here. 
and we can uh, now start that countdown and show message and you'll see our service begins in and it has our countdown clock.